Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Curtis. We're back for part two of our scarab beetle drawing um, when we work on our coloring. Just a couple of things to remember before you start coloring. The first thing is that you drew all these amazing patterns. You wanna really make sure that you're highlighting those patterns in your color. That means don't just color the whole area one solid color, but maybe do some kind of pattern with your colors. You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you have at home. The other thing to remember is that it's okay to leave some of the areas white. It's okay to leave some of the areas white if you do it on purpose and it fits in with your pattern. So maybe on this area right here, I'm going to use a green and I'm going to alternate with a white space. So I'm going to outline carefully with my green marker and then fill it in and then leave the next one white and so on. And I would keep going just like that. So it's okay to leave part of your drawing white. Sometimes leaving white space makes it more interesting than filling everything in with lots and lots of color. You just have to kind of plan out how you're gonna use that white space. Now, if you don't remember the right coloring techniques, you can watch the video. I put it in our Canvas page so you can get a little refresher on that. But other than that, I am gonna color my picture in um, and you're gonna color yours and I cannot wait to see what it looks like when it's done. Remember this part of the project might take more than one day. So it's okay if you don't finish it in your art period today. You can use time tomorrow or even the next day for it too. All right. I hope you enjoyed drawing your scarab beetle and I cannot wait to see it colored in. I'm going to go ahead and finish mine and I want you to finish yours. See you later.